courtesy of Andy Amaya and the Wet Shaving Store, a shave soap all the way from Spain. We're going to build a lather with it, and we're going to have a shave coming up next. Hi, YouTubers and Wetshavers everywhere. It's MargaretGeorgeToon.com. I'm back with another video. Great to see you again. Thanks so much for stopping by and sharing your time with me. I really do appreciate it. We've got a brand new shave soap in the shave den all the way from Spain, courtesy of Andy Amaya and the Wet Shaving Store. Andy, thank you very, very much. Before we get to that, hey, if this is your first visit to the channel, welcome. Make yourself at home. Check out all the other videos and also please consider subscribing. I welcome your company and your comments. Well, here it is right here. Los Habanes de Josera right here in <laughs> that artwork. Absolutely beautiful. It's called Sefiro right there. Sephiro, huh? How about that? I believe I got that pronunciation correct if my junior high and high school Spanish <laughs> still holds up. But absolutely fantastic. And of course, Los, Los Habanes de Josera is Josera Shaving Soap. I believe that's how it translates. And that's the brand name. And this particular uh, shave soap from Los Habanes de Josera is Sephiro. Yes, and it's has an absolutely marvelous, marvelous scent. We cover this in the Monday Morning Mailbag. Now, let me refresh your memory. They have some information right here on the uh, Wet Shaving Store product page. Uh, Los Habanes de José Sefiro Wet Shaving Soap and Aftershave Balm are the perfect pairing for the modern man. Made in Spain with premium ingredients, this set is sure to elevate your shaving experience. Now, get a load of this scent profile right here. The scent profile of Sefiro is an intense and fresh masculine aroma with notes of black currant, bergamot, and apple intertwined with incense, spicy rose, and birch. This unique blend of fragrances is then anchored by a heart of jasmine, sandalwood, patchouli, and musk, creating a luxurious and unforgettable scent. Absolutely. And uh, this uh, shave soap has some great skin food ingredients. It promises to be very moisturizing with a great, great post-shave feel. And Andy also very, very kindly sent along the uh, aftershave balm that we'll also be using for this shave. Everything we're going to be using here comes from the wet shaving store. Uh, we're obviously, absolutely going to use the Roll of Sun uh, razor that is um, asymmetrical, uh, so to speak. It has open comb on one side and straight bar on the other side. Absolutely wonderful. We're also going to be using a Gillette Platinum Swede razor blade. You could also get these at the Wet Shaving Store. My thanks to Beth Jones for sending these along. We're uh, also going to be using uh, a fine lathering bowl. You can get this up on the Wet Shaving Store, as well as a uh, Simpson T3 Trafalgar shaving brush. These are also available at the wet shaving store. And we're going to finish it off with a GBS Allen block, also available at the wet shaving store. So that's kind of got the a lay of the land here. We're not going to use any pre-shave, but I am going to kick it off with a nice hot towel. So let me go ahead and just wet my face. Let me get my hot towel, and then we'll go ahead and whip up a ladder. You know what? Here's what we're going to do. I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to put some hot water here on top of this soap because I'm going to do a brush load. Okay, so we're going to get some hot water on top of there like that. And we're going to get some hot water in my fine lathering bowl. I think this is the way we're going to do it. Okay, yeah, that's how we're going to do it, like that. Okay, so I've got some water in there. Let me just show you here. Let me get my tablet out of the way here. Kind of clear the deck a little bit. So I got some hot water in there, okay? All right. And then uh, I'm going to go ahead and wet this, let that brush soak a little bit. In the meantime, I'm going to load my blade and I'm going to let everything warm up a little bit. Here's my razor blade right here. I'm going to let everything uh, warm up a little bit and uh, then we'll do a hot towel 
uh, but we'll build a ladder first, is what I'm saying. After I get this blade loaded, then we'll uh, we'll build a ladder. Okay, let me just let me set that blade down like that, and let's get this opened up. All right. Okay, there's the countersink on the base plate. Okay, that's really nice. It fits right in there. I'm not going to use a buffer ring uh, with this particular razor right now. Beautifully, beautifully plated, and I really like this. The way this uh, shaves. I use it both ways. Uh, you can use the open comb throughout your shave if you want to. You can do your first pass with the open comb, second pass with the straight bar, or you can alternate back and forth however you want to however you want to use it. Okay, so there is my Swede blade going in the camp like that. Here is my base plate. There's my countersink there on the bottom. We're just going to set that uh, right on there like that. All right. Uh, end tabs of the blade are enclosed in the razor head. You can barely, barely feel them. So for all practical purposes, they are enclosed. You can barely feel them. All right, so here we go. That's that alignment and balance spot on, huh? How about that? Let's double check that just to make sure. All right, I'm just going to double check that because I did kind of slip up there a little bit. Okay, yeah, that's in there. See that? A <laughs> poster through there, not a problem at all. Okay. All right, there we go. So the balance and alignment spot on. Just want to double check because sometimes on camera you can miss something. Okay. All right. You can kind of miss it while talking to the camera, looking at the camera, not looking at the razor. When you should be, yeah, balance and alignment on this are absolutely spot on. Absolutely beautiful. Okay, so we've got that there. All right, so here's what we're going to do. Ooh, that's, that's nice and warm there. We're going to take this warm water here, and we're just going to dump it out. Here is my brush. We're going to go ahead and, uh, oh, that's a marvelous masculine scent. We're going to go ahead and load my brush here. And look at that. That is just, I think I got enough of a brush load Right there, just like that. Look at how much I've got there, just so you can see it. Now, we're going to go ahead and uh, dump this hot water out of here. And this is all nice and warm now. Okay, so here we go. We're going to go ahead and build this ladder. Then we're going to kind of set it aside. We're going to do a hot towel for about a minute. And then we're going to go ahead and paint this on. We're not going to do any pre-shave because I just want to do a shave with just this soap to see how it performs. Okay, look at my gosh, this is going to need some water here. What a brush load I gave it, huh? Here we go. My gosh, look at that. Probably could have backed off on those swirls, to be perfectly honest with you. A little more water. I'm going to need a little more water here. My brush was probably not as uh, moist as it could have been for this shave soap. But again, as I like to say, better to add water as you go than have to add soap. And this is really starting to develop into a nice lather. So let me just take it down here so I can kind of look at it. Oh my gosh, look at this. Well, I got to show you. <laughs> look at this and you can't see it. Look at this. Here it is. Here it is. Check that out, huh? I, I want to make sure I don't tilt it too much. It, it is really, it is, this is really coming along. I just want to add just a little bit more water here. Just a little bit. Oh, that's a beautiful scent. That really is marvelous. It has a lot of depth and refinement to it. Really, really beautiful, beautiful scent. This is a great scent. Look at that. Look at that. Boom! Lather, huh? Check that out. Look at those peaks. That is, my gosh, that is done. That is absolutely, that is, boy, is that, look at that. That is the nice, beautiful, yogurty, creamy consistency that uh, you want uh, in building a lather. Boy, is that nice. All right. Nice thing about the fine lathering bowl is you got that brush rest right there, and we're going to take advantage of it. We're going to set it down right there like that. Okay, I am going to go ahead and wet my face, and let me get a hot towel. All 
All right, so here's my hot towel right here. Oh boy, that's good and hot. Yeah, oh, that's nice and hot. Can you see the steam coming off of that? Okay, give me one minute. I'll be right back. Okay, that's a good minute, a little bit longer than a minute, uh, and that's absolutely fantastic. Let me just splash a little more water on my face. Just one splash. I like to have that one splash on my face, and we're going to go and look at this lather. My gosh, that is marvelous. Look at that. This is fantastic. I absolutely love the richness of it, the creaminess of it. This is absolutely fantastic. And look at look at these peaks I have here. My gosh. And I have more than enough lather. I think I swirled too much. You know, I mean, it was a brand new tub. And uh, I like to kind of err on the side of more rather than less whenever I do a, a review like this on camera. Um, Oh my gosh, I have more. Now the the feeling is quite, quite agreeable. Uh, really, really wonderful. And it could be at this point during my shave that uh, at this point I could probably load my razor blade, that sort of thing. We've already got that done. But in loading my, in taking the time to load my razor blade while I'm lathered up, it allows a little additional time for that that uh, shading lather to uh, moisten the whisker and just kind of just let the skin kind of drink in all those great ingredients. Really, really marvelous. We're going to go ahead and uh, we're all snugged up. We're going to keep this up under some hot, hot, hot water. Again, a really wonderful, wonderful feel on the skin. Absolutely marvelous. We'll heat this up under some hot, 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 hot water. More than enough. My God, I have more than enough lather there. Unbelievable. I think I'll hang on to some of it and do a, a, a head shave later on. All right, here we go. Open comb side of the Rollison razor from the wet shaving store. All right, here we go. 30 degrees, a light touch. Let the razor do all the work, gentlemen. Forgot to mention, I have one day's worth of beard growth. That's marvelous. That's really, really very good. So I'm just using the open comb side, which is why I'm rinsing a little more frequently. Very, very, very smooth. Beautiful glide. <laughs> really, really nice glide. You could probably hear some audio feedback of that whisker being shaved away. There's no tugging, there's no pulling, it's just being shaved away beautifully. That's really very nice, my goodness. Some nice residual slickness to allow me to, to do that. To really kind of clean up that chin there. All right, let's get the uh, upper lip. Wow, I got about... I would say I got a good... 90% uh, on my upper lip there. I'm going to clean up the uh, underside, uh, underneath the nostrils on the east to west pass. The profile of this uh, razor head is nice and slim, but it is uh, 
did a great job that time getting up underneath the, uh, the nostrils and getting the upper lip. All right, first pass done. Let's rinse. Yeah, I'm in socially acceptable territory, just starting into socially acceptable territory. Really, really terrific. I'm just going to leave the lathering bolt. Well, you know what? I'm going to show you the lathering bolt. Look how much I have here. I just don't want it to slip out of my hand because there is some really nice slickness from this shave soap and it's translating to my hand. So I got to be careful that I don't uh, pick up that lathering ball and have it slip out of my hand because there is some really, really good slickness there. And I, I just love this creamy, uh, yogurty texture to this lather. This is really, really marvelous. This is uh, quite different from some of the other shave soaps that I have used and reviewed on the channel. This is really, really very, very good and very, very different. And again, a beautiful feel on the skin. Really, really very uh, just very uh, moisturizing. It has a kind of nice softness to the lather as it uh, as it's introduced to the skin. And it really did a great job in softening the whisker. My goodness. I, there's, again, more than enough lather there. Okay, we're going to go ahead with pass number two. We're going to use the straight bar side on the Rollison razor. Again, this razor is available at the wet shaving store. We're going to use the straight bar side on this pass. We're going to go east to west across the grain. Now that open comb really did a nice job on that first pass. This is my money pass and this straight bar, this for this shave with this blade feels uh, characteristically a little milder, just a little milder than the uh, open comb. However, uh, that all depends on the blade I have found. With uh, with a stainless blade, some of the more stainless steel blades out there, the straight bar um, has a little more edge to it, and that's I think coming because I think that's due to the particular kind of razor blade, the stainless razor blade. It doesn't maybe not maybe does not have the platinum coating or the Teflon coating or chromium coating that some of these blades have. Uh, I mean, just a guess on my part. So it, it does give you a little more edge, but uh, nonetheless, a really nice smooth shave. This, in this Gillette Suede, in this razor, uh, the um, open comb gave me a little more blade feel than the straight bar side. Absolutely marvelous. Boy, I tell you, the protection on this, uh, the protection from this lather is marvelous. Great thing is, um, uh, the, 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 the great thing about doing my upper lip for me is I can always tell if the shaving soap doesn't have a, a lot of glide or as much glide as I would like uh, because uh, you might feel a little bit up there, but boy, this is smooth. I mean, it's just shaving that whisker away very, very comfortably. And really, I, I'm really uh, uh, just taking it down a little more because, it, as I say, it got probably about 90%. And I'm just doing a little bit of finesse underneath the nostril. Is all I'm doing. Yeah. <laughs> That's fantastic. Uh, second pass done. Let's rinse. Okay. Let's see where we're at. The shave is done. The shave is done. This is really, this has been a great, great shave. My gosh. 
absolutely fantastic. Let me just let me just rinse a little bit from the faucet. Hang on. I'm gonna flip it to the cold water side, but I do have a hot towel here to kind of complete my warm water rinse. I like this. Let's turn that off for the time being there. Boy, that's nice. Already I'm getting a really nice poche feel. The kind of poche feel that you know, if the phone were to ring and, hey, you got to get down to the office or, hey, you're looking for this appointment or whatever it is. Uh, hey, you were supposed to be here. It's whatever. Get over here. I can run out the door. This is a great, great post-shape feel. All right. I flipped to the cold water side. Here's my uh, cold water rinse to close my pores. A really, really beautiful cool down. Really like the cold water rinse. Clean, fresh towel waiting for me right here. Oh, yeah, love that cold water rinse. And there is an absolutely beautiful glow that I have right now from this shave. Post shave feel is one. Oh, that's BBS already. My gosh, that's marvelous. I did not need a third pass. This uh, this razor and blade gave me a really, really efficient, efficient shave. This lather gave me a lot of nice protection. Uh, you saw how rich and creamy and yogurty uh, it was that that the shave soap produced. You saw how rich and creamy and yogurty the lather was. How that shave soap produced that kind of lather. Absolutely marvelous, wonderful. Let's get the. Uh, Alan block here and get some feedback. Let's see how much feedback we hear. We're gonna how much feedback we're gonna get. <laughs> how much we have here is what I was trying to say. We're gonna run this under some uh, cold water and let's see if we get any zinging, any stinging, that sort of thing. Smooth as ice. Smooth as ice. My goodness. No stinging, no zinging. This is going to be a BBS shave. And even up here, underneath the nostrils, I deliberately am hitting that with some alum block to see if I get any stinging there, and there's no stinging there at all. No sting, no zings at all. This is uh, wonderful. Some really nice bracing. Uh, you know, a little bit of bracing from the alum block, and I expect that. And we're just going to dry that off a little bit. And uh, absolutely marvelous. Wow. That's great. The GBS travel case is a great travel size. I put the uh, rubber band on there. I believe those these extra rubber bands came from viewer James Sefton, I think. Hope I got that right. If I did not, my apologies. I'll try to correct it on the screen below. Uh, wow. Let me show you the lather. That's what I want to show you. Let me show you the lather very, very carefully. Look at how much lather I have here. Look at this. Look at how much I have. Look at that. Look at look at look at these peaks I'm getting. Look at that. This 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 shaving this shaving soap produces an absolutely wonderful lather. This lather is unlike uh, any other shave soap that I've used. Uh, you know, maybe maybe because it's from Spain <laughs> and it has that uh, other side of the fence kind of quality to it. Do you know what I'm saying? It's it's uh, it's from across the pond. It's from Spain. It uh, comes across as being rather exotic, and there's an allure there to it. And uh, the lather uh, seems to seems to appear and feel different from what I use domestically. Is what I'm trying to say. They're all good. This one just has that different quality to it. And again, maybe it's because of the exotic locale that it comes from, Spain. Uh, that sort of thing. Absolutely fantastic. Well, here is the uh, aftershave balm. Comes with a nice little protective cap there. We'll take that off. And I believe, yeah, that's already 
set to go. It's got a little pump there. So we're going to go ahead and pump a little bit. I'm going to use that much right there. Let's see how that absorbs into the skin. Okay, can you see that? Let's see how that absorbs. What a beautiful scent. And then, boy, that quickly absorbs. Look at that. Boy, that's marvelous. I could probably use just a little more if I wanted to on the neck. A little more there. And of course, carry some upstairs. I'm going to go one, two there for upstairs. You don't need a lot, really. You don't need a lot, but it's quickly absorbed. You can contrast that with some other balms that I've used where I may have put the you know, equivalent amount and they don't absorb as quickly. In other words, I've I've used too much of that particular whatever balm it is. This one, that seems to be the right amount and it's quickly absorbed. It feels great. It has that absolutely beautiful scent. Great, great shave. My gosh, this was wonderful. Check it out. This is a great artisan soap maker from Spain, Los Habanes de Josera. Uh, and this uh, Safiro is absolutely wonderful. A fantastic, fantastic shave soap. Here it is right here on the side label here. Safiro. I tell you what, I'll just put it together and I'll uncap it so it'll dry out after camera stop. But I want to show it to you in this container because the whole presentation of the container, the labeling, uh, all really, really very, very terrific. So there it is again. Check out that. Check out that art. Isn't that wonderful? It's just so eye-catching. And uh, there's the name of it right there. Safiro. Absolutely fantastic. Safiro from Los Habanes de Josera. The uh, shea soap and the aftershave balm. This is wonderful. If you want to try something that is different, that is unique, uh, and uh, <clears throat> has that... Um, otherworldly, exotic kind of quality. Check out Los Habanes de Josera, Safiro. Really, really terrific from the Wet Shaving Store. My thanks again to Andy and Maya and everyone at the Wet Shaving Store for sending this along and allowing me to share it with all the viewers out there. All right, that's it. Thanks very much for tuning in again. I really do appreciate it. Please share, please subscribe, please like. Hit that bell so that give me a yell the next time I upload a video. Comment below. Let me know. Check out all the wonderful artisan soap makers and sellers that you see displayed on the bottom of the screen right now. They make and offer some wonderful artisan shave soap. They also offer some wonderful wet shaving gear to enhance your traditional wet shave. The next time you're online, please take a moment, pay them a visit. I sure would appreciate it. Thank you very much. Also, check out my Amazon product page at amazon.com slash shop slash Mark Zerady where you'll find all the Amazon listed products that I review on this channel, organized and categorized so you can find everything in a snap very easily. Thanks very much for tuning in again. I really do appreciate it. I'll see you again real soon.